What's going on everybody, Lone Gemini here, and welcome to my walkthrough for the Rick Toffin side of Mind Games on Buried. I hope you guys enjoy. There are a few parts I'm not going to talk through because I have most of the Rick Toffin quotes. The only quote I don't have is when you pick up the switch and he asks you to go into the maze and do all the switches there. So most of it is pretty self-explanatory. I will be popping in and out of the video to explain a couple steps, but I hope you guys enjoy and I will catch you later. Samuel? Samuel Stollinger? What? Oh no, not again! Calm yourself, Samuel. We're all friends here, are we not? Uh, not really. Me and Rustman are buddies, but uh, I hate that girl with a passion. We have no time for such petty rivalries, my friend. I fear that Max has made manipulate your companions into following his orders. Be a very convincing liar! I know this firsthand. For now, you must focus on only gaining control of the tower above ground. It is more important than you can possibly imagine. So, no pressure then? The components necessary to build an energy conduit to power the tower can all be sourced from this location. When you find them, you must ensure that they are not used to help Maxis. So pretty much what you have to do for the first step is build the guillotine, that is the Richtofen side of mind games. There are four parts on the map that you have to pick up to build on the guillotine. Just find those pieces, I'm put them on the guillotine, and there you go. Ah, perfect! Old guillotine! Find and bring the parts to this location. Together we will thwart Maxis! Don't worry, we don't actually need to cut off his head. I was talking metaphorically. Although decapitations can follow if time permits. This may be important. Or not. Huh. I guess I'll know what it is when it's done. Dust is so good, little Samuel. I confess that I had worried that your courage might desert you. I love being wrong! With a little... Double points! <laughs> what does that do? Progress! Incredible progress! I should probably hang on to this. You are approaching the climactic moment. Oh, it feels good, yeah. For the second step, you will need the paralyzer out of the box. What you have to do is take the paralyzer and heat up or paralyze the four orbs that are on the map. I Those really orbs like will turn white, and Richtofen will give you oh, an indication yeah. to move on. Uh, what is it? Find the right tool, Samuel, but do it quickly. Your allies may yet choose to follow Maxis. Look at that! That's perfect. It's bigger and better. Find the others. Repeat the process. There should be a little light floating around. Perhaps some portrait guys resided within. For the third step, you'll have to find the lantern floating around the map. Just knock it out of the sky with a grenade and pick it up. Pick up the lantern. I'm sure it is harmless enough. <laughs> Look at 
I'm gonna hold on to this for a while. Departed souls leave residual energy in their wake. This energy must be used to fuel the lantern. The energy that Richtofen requires is from the ghosts in the house. Whoever has a lantern, just go in the house and kill ghosts. Once you have the lantern filled with enough ghosts, take it above the gunsmith and place it in the symbol that is now glowing on the roof, and the cipher will pop up. All oh, this talk of energy is so vague, yeah? <laughs> it's best not to worry about it. Just think of the big ones, positive or negative. North or South, right or dark, good or evil! <laughs> anyway, cheer up, it's all good. You just need to smear the right area with some fresh zombie blood. Okay, so I believe this thing is called a click cipher, but what it does is it's pretty much like a key phone pad from back in the day. All you really need to do is interpret the first three letters of each line. Once you do that, you know which signs to hit, and you can move on to the fourth step. The fourth step will require you to have Vulture Aid. It is a perk you will need for the Richthofen side. There are five signs that are in the tunnels that you will have to hit to initiate this step. What will happen is when you hit the right signs, you will have a little wisp come out or a little ball of light will come out of the signs and you'll pretty much have to chase it around the map until it goes into the guillotine. The click cipher that is on top of the gunsmith will let you know what three signs to hit. No signs start with the same letters so if you just interpret the first three letters of each line that's all you'll have to do. As you notice for mine it was GLC but I'm gonna hit them it like I said the order doesn't even matter so I'm hitting LCG as long as you hit the signs with the correct letters that's all you have to do. Just follow the wisp and there you go. Max this course it a wisp. It's really just a ball of life force imprisoned in this place for all eternity. It is probably best not to dwell on what it really is. It will make you so sad. Once you get the wisp to go to the guillotine, just run over to it and hold X. I'm pretty sure you have to hold X. I don't think you can just stand there. Either way, once you do it, the wisp will kind of disappear, come back, and it won't have the five little wisps around it. Once that happens, get a zombie to run by it, and Richtofen will tell you what to do next. Get it! Get it now! I want this energy! I must have this energy! Where's the giant? He knows how to deal with the half pints. Now all you have to do is kill four more zombies that light up. The zombies that don't light up don't really matter, but they only light up kind of once every few. It's not like the first couple that come towards it. You can only do one at a time, but just make sure you kill enough until Richtofen says you're done, and you'll move on to the next step. Of time or space. 
Like I said, it's nothing to worry about, but you need to cross your own timeline in order to put things right. Oh, you ain't pushing me around. Just detonate the time bomb. He is a guillotine, and everything will be hunky dory. Okay, so just as Rick Toffin says, you will need time bombs for this next step. And if you haven't noticed already, I've been doing most of this Easter egg on solo. This is actually where the Rick Toffin breaks off to where you have to have four players because you will not be able to activate in round infinity or whatever happens when you set the time bomb off unless you have four players by the guillotine. Well, so what you have to do is get your time bomb, throw it directly on the guillotine just as you saw, and have all four players get by the guillotine. You don't have to like crouch up on it or jump on top of it you just got to get close to it once you get into a round infinity you need to find the characters bodies lying around the map so either misty marlton russman or stulinger will be laying their dead bodies will be laying on the map you will have the option to search the body you need to search the body and find the switch you will only have about a minute maybe two minutes to find the switch so just run everybody run in different directions until somebody finds it. Once you find it, all you need to do is survive the time that's left in infinity mode. You can't necessarily kill zombies in infinity mode. I'm sure you can try and do all this crazy stuff with Leroy, Huckleberry, whatever his name is. But honestly, just survive the round or the time that you have remaining in infinity mode. You really don't need to kill anything. So just chill while you're there, find the switch, and just try to stay alive. Once you make it out of infinity mode, do not forget to put the switch on the guillotine, which is kind of what we did, why I had to edit it back in. But anyway, find the switch in infinity mode. That is the next step. Once you do, you will move on to the maze step. So this is the one quote from Rick Toffin that I don't have having him tell you what the next step is. What happens once you find the switch in infinity mode and put it on the guillotine? Four switches will appear on the doors in the maze. The best way to do this is to have all four players go to the maze, have everyone stand by a switch, and hit a different color first each time. You know, hit the colors in different order. Like hit blue first and see if that works. Hit green first next, see if that works red first and then yellow because those are the colors blue red green and yellow you need to hit the switches in the correct order and they will spark once you know you've hit them in the correct order this is a trial and error kind of thing but the easiest way to do it is like i said just hit a color hit a different color first each time until you get it right the switches won't spark until all four have been hit so you need to hit the switches and just keep hitting them until they're all hit to see if they spark if they spark you've hit that particular switch in the right order so say if you hit red first blue second green third and yellow last if yellow sparks then yellow must be hit last and if green sparks then that needs to be hit in the order it was hit in and so on and so forth they will only spark if it's hit in the correct order the spark will look like that and you'll get a little noise indicating you've done it right once you do, Rick Toffin will tell you the next step, which is making a wish at the well and shooting the signs. So you're almost done. Ah, I'm so proud of you. We are inching ever closer to our goal. Many inches of reaching. Oh, do you ever wish for something so hard? That you think you're going to burst if you don't get it. <laughs> well, today all our wishes are going to come true. Just take all your hard-earned pennies along to the fountain. Okay, the last step is very annoying and will probably take you a while to get the pattern down. But once you do get the pattern down, you can pretty much pre-fire to everything. Maybe one or two signs might change positions, nothing that's really going to throw you off the pattern, so as long as you memorize it, it should be fairly easy. I'm showing you all four spots on where players should stand in order to do this last step. You have one at the candy store, the jailhouse, the saloon, and the house. The weapon I would suggest is the PDW, only because it has a large clip and little to no kick. It just makes it a good weapon to hit these signs accurately and quickly. Um, because they do pop up fairly fast and go down fairly fast, so you need to, you know, make sure you're shooting pretty well. 
Once you have all four players hit all their signs, you will have the Mind Games achievement and it will be over with. The easiest spot I would probably say is the jailhouse. I, from looking back in the theater mode and recording all this crap, I would say that this is probably the easiest spot. So if you have a weak player, I'd probably suggest sticking them here. The only thing that's hard about the jailhouse and the candy house is the fact that the signs kind of pop up on the same side. Like you'll see the purple flashes going off on this side, but those are the signs that the candy house person has to hit. So kind of just get used to that. It did take us quite a few tries to get this done, um, but once you figure it out, it shouldn't be that hard. Probably difficulty wise, this is the hardest step of the entire Easter egg. It was just a pain in the ass to get this all done. Um, but once you get all four players to get the pattern down and you know do it right, it should be fairly easy. Because I'm sure if I did this again, I could probably you know make it a lot easier on myself because I was all stressed out trying to do it the first time. That's how that's how these Easter eggs work all the time. The first time it's always a bitch, but after that they're easy as shit. So just if you're struggling with it, just stay calm and try to get it done. It is a pain in the ass. Um, but this is the last step, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and this, you know, I hope this guide is gonna help you get this achievement. I know it's a pain in the ass, but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And as always, it's been Lone Gemini, and until next time. I need some now.